Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome back to another episode of the eight stages of psychosocial development. I have no idea why it took me that long to say that. So today we're going to be talking about, well, for as you guys have already seen in the title, identity versus role confusion. But before that, I do want to point, bring back a little bit of last episode, which was talking about... Um, Initiative, well, pfft, no, industry. I meant to say industry. My brain has too many of the stages at once in its mind. Anyway, last time we were talking about industry versus inferiority, and that is very drastically going to impact today's topic. So the reason for this is because of the fact that there is a reason they choose the word industry. Let's take a, an example of a very well-known individual. Miley Cyrus. Many people know her as Hannah Montana because of a role she used to play. But the thing is, that wasn't her. That wasn't the real woman. Even her own father noticed this over time, and it's kind of sad. Now, the two connect in the same way that I'm going to explain with her. When she was doing the show Hannah Montana, she was going through that one that stage of um, industry versus inferiority, where she was trying to figure out what category she belonged in, who who she was, all that kind of stuff. But she never got the chance to, because throughout that entire stage, the industry was pretty much controlling who she was. And when she finally got out of that, when she was finally done. She went through what everybody calls an identity crisis, or what this stage calls role confusion. If you never get the chance to ask yourself, who am I, or what do I want to do with my life, and you're pretty much pushed to do whatever, it destroys you. It, it ruins this next phase. There's a reason the second half is called role confusion. Those who don't get the chance experience that and it's a good example of where this goes and it became very noticeable this kind of thing it, be it becomes very noticeable in general for Miley Cyrus's case it becomes noticeable because of the just look at her music you could tell when this started based off the ginormous shift in gears she got as far if I remember correctly don't quote me on this because it's been a while and I was stupid enough not to double check on my sources for this one, but I believe at a point she started doing like some very dark stuff. The details on that are not my business per se, but it's a good example of what the outcome could be if you do end up in role confusion. You don't know what you want, you don't know who you are, so you just start nitpicking very naively. When you don't realize this kind of stuff, when you don't have an identity for yourself, you don't have set goals, you don't have like a bucket list of any kind, so you just have to start scrambling for things. Those who do have an identity, who are given a chance to actually live on their own and decide for themselves, end up avoiding all this conflict. It doesn't end up crossing their mind. Amber is actually the perfect example of that side. Um, Pink Fox. I'm not going to go into detail. If she wants to talk about it, it's her own business. But I'm going to be very vague and just go kind of about this path. Where she's from in the life she lived, if she hadn't taken initiative and actually started going about things, teaching herself things earlier on in her life like she did, She would have been stuck. She would have gone through the role confusion portion of it. Now, again, it's not my business. It's not my place to say what was going on, why this happened. None of that is for me to say. It is on her, and if you guys want to know, you can let us know in the comments below. And I'll leave it to, well, we'll leave it to her to decide whether to explain it or not. If it doesn't happen, just take my word for it and just say this is kind of what went down. Because of her decisions to go turn to her peers 
and turn to herself to raise herself, she already knew who she was by the time this particular stage came into play. Which, by the way, the ages of this stage are 12 to 18. She literally just came out of this stage a few years ago, too. Um, as of this recording, at least. But it's very interesting to think about. Comparing people who have gone through identity, people who have to go through the role confusion side, it's one of those things where I kind of feel bad for those who have to go through role confusion because it makes it very difficult to finally get through to the next phase. Um, because by the time you hit that, you have to know who you are or things are just going to go wrong. The next phase, by the way, just so those who don't know are aware, it is intimacy versus isolation. If you don't know who you are, it ends up being the isolation side, but that's going to be discussed next time. I'm going to talk a little bit more about each and then I'll leave the video. Identity, even even it can be confusing when somebody thinks identity can be role confusion. There are certain people who, they know who they are, they know what they want to be, but they don't know how to approach it. They're still under the category of identity. There's no role confusion there, but a lot of people has, I, I've seen it with my own eyes and heard it through gossipers. That's where the confusion of role confusion or identity crisis versus identity can really take play. A lot of people who just start spreading rumors about it, this, this is kind of where the identity crisis can come into play too if it's done too early on. If it's done by the time you're bypass this phase, it, it'll just phase it. Like me, for example. I, during like the videos, like the later one today, I burn myself all the time. Why? I know who I am. I make fun of myself, but the reason I do is because I already know who I am and who I want to be. The reason for this is more the idea that, well, how do I phrase this? It's the idea well, I'm trying to find a way to phrase it, but I guess easiest way to look at it. Mix the two up and it can cause an issue. But once you decide once you're past the stage, it's impossible to mix it up. It's impossible to move one from one side to the other because once you know who you are there's no changing that however if you hit the role confusion side that can linger past the age if you hit role confusion and you haven't swapped over to identity by the time you reach 18 that confusion can last very long or if you're lucky enough it can last a very short amount of time it's very interesting for me to think about personally but one way or the other i'm going to stop rambling about it before I start pausing multiple times like that but one way or the other thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the eight stages of psychosocial development as I said next time we'll be talking about intimacy versus isolation under the circumstances that identity was the end result of this stage by the time you get to the next in the meantime I'm gonna head off if you like this video make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore and if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel, we talk about different stuff, whether it's this or other things. We vlog every day. So if you have a suggestion for that, let us know in the comments below. Uh, check out the channel if this isn't quite your um, floats your boat, or you can click the one of the links on the side of my head uh, where it'll give you an option of you know something you might enjoy, or it'll take you to the rest of the plays for this one. In the meantime, yeah, going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in for this video, everyone, and we hope to see all of you in another one. See you guys later.